Um, I, I think most people will agree the war on drugs has failed. Yeah. Gallup poll did a, a poll last year. One in two Americans now are in favor of legalizing marijuana. One in four had admitted to smoking or eating marijuana in the last five years. That means it's a normalized part of society. And so I understand when there are concerns from parents, but basically Steve, and I'm gonna rub Steve so he can speak on to that. Uh, Steve has a group called Regulate Marijuana Like Wine, and I feel like that's a very progressive way of looking at, at, at the legalization of marijuana. Um, many studies have been done that show that on a federal level, we're looking at 14, 18, 22 billion dollars if we legalize a thing, as I just explained, that one in two Americans is for, and one in four have done recently. Thank you, Tim. We arrest over 70,000 people a year in California alone for marijuana offenses. Uh, it, uh, we got some 1,500 people in prison for it at a cost of $46,000 a year. Uh, there's, a, there's a bill in, co in Congress right now that's uh, dying in Henry Waxman's committee that would allow each state to make its own rules. And uh, thank you for giving me the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Having attended uh, the Regulate Marijuana Like Wine event at Steve's house, I'm 99% sure I'm going to agree with Steve's answer, so I'm going to give him my time. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I mentioned Henry Waxman being the ranking member of the... Uh, Energy of the, the Commerce Committee, and um, as ranking member, he's got, got a lot of power. He didn't make a lot of changes. I mentioned HR 2306, the, the federal and marijuana prohibition law that would let each state decide whether one to prohibit it entirely, uh, allow medical marijuana, or legalization, and an enormous range of possibilities in between. There's also a bill for medical marijuana per se in that committee. So it's, it's just a, another example of where he's uh, the problem and not the solution. 